Some say they want change, but not to their privilege and power. Some say bring our troops home, but I don't know why they say ours. If they were mine, they'd be in Washington, D.C., and the White House, Capitol, and Pentagon would all be under siege. We wouldn't even need weapons to bring them down. If enough of us kept marching, the fuckers would get scared and skip town. In the meantime, we got shit to do. A revolution has to happen on the inside, too. In fact, that's where it's got to begin. Take a good look at ourselves and fight the oppressor within. Look at our scenes. They need a lot of improvement. You know we still got racism and sexual assault in our movement. We gotta stop calling our goddesses bitches. And at least every once in a while, we gotta do some fucking dishes. I think when one of us needs something, the rest of us gotta give. Create a culture of generosity. Show people an alternative to this. Everyone against everyone else. Economics agreed. Where too many have too much, while others don't have what they need. We can build a new society right up from the ground. We don't have to wait for this one to come crashing down. We can start our own clinics, community centers, schools, and food banks. That way we build a support base more powerful than their army tanks. The talk of having no leaders, but in my opinion, having millions is better than having none. If you got a good idea, you don't need anyone's permission. Just find a way to get it done. Here's to my friends and lovers, though I may not know your names. To the compassionate liberators who refuse to be tamed. To those who dream of a world with no wars, wage slavery, or borders. To those who make their own rules and refuse to take orders. Here's to those who challenge the system while making sure people get enough to eat. Long live the resistance. And I'll see you in the streets.